Mallory will meet you here secretly at dawn where you'll brief her in her part in the escape. You haven't told her that you're defecting? No. You don't trust your own daughter? When will I ever be as good as you? When you win the gold medal. What's gone wrong? I don't know. You're nothing but a spy! Nina, why should I believe anything Nina. you say? But they searched that locker. Well, I crouched down behind the clothes. defected 12 years ago to protest our developments with nerve gas. She took the formula with her, hoping to create a stalemate so neither side would dare use it, or so she said. The truth of the matter is the other side already had it. Last week, she got a message out to us by carrier pigeon. The message said she wants to defect again and return to our side. To say the least, her loyalties are certainly very dubious. Uh, Leonard, I take it you don't exactly uh, trust this woman, is oh, that it? up to a point. She now wants to defect again and return. Very changeable lady. Oh, wait a minute, Leonard. I, I said that's perfectly consistent. You see, she developed an antidote to the nerve gas. They have it and we don't, which of course tips the balance once again. All she wants to do is restore the balance by giving us the antidote, too. For a price. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Her 16-year-old daughter, Nina. That picture was taken at the games in Montreal. She won a silver medal. We have to bring her out, too. Leonard, that is not a price. What woman doesn't want to have her daughter with her? I mean, you're such a cynic! It goes with the job. So, uh, when do I go in, huh? Tonight. By parachute. you here secretly at dawn where you'll brief her in her part in the escape. Then you'll proceed here undercover as a worker. You'll steal a vehicle and proceed to the weapons center where you'll pick up the Dodsons. We're nearing target. Jamming procedures continue. All right, what is this point B? Well, that's where I'll be landing in a chopper at precisely 6 p.m. You, Leonard? Yes, me. I wouldn't ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do. Hey, Leonard, don't get mad. He's over the hill yet, you know. Not even halfway up. Now, the chopper will certainly be picked up on their radar. We can linger in the area about 20 minutes, so that doesn't give you much leeway. Here's your cover ID. Detailed maps. All right. 30 seconds to target. Stand by for jump. Uh, good luck. Thanks, Leonard. Morning stroll, Dr. Dutson. That's right. They've been rather frequent of late. Does it really concern you? But of course it does. 
Everything you do concerns me, Doctor. I'm responsible for you, remember? And for my health, too. I do need a little exercise occasionally, you know? Oh, exercise is good, Doctor. But I'm watching. Always. Don't ever forget it. How could I? Good day, Doctor. Dr. Dobson? All right, Doctor, it's me, Sam Casey. You have something to say to me? This happy breed of men, this precious stone set in the Silver Sea. This blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. Well, I guess we're both who we say we are, huh? Pleasure, Doctor. By the way, why did you uh, pick those words, eh? Oh, they were as good as any other. I, Nobody here would be likely to know them. Oh, that's the only reason? Uh, sentiment, perhaps. I'm not immune. Well, for whatever reason, welcome back to our side. Let me get something clear, Mr. Casey. I'm on the side of peace, and I hate militarists on any side. But I wouldn't expect you to understand that. I see. What do you call yourself? CIA? FBI. Intersect. Over here, they call people like you the MVD. Oh, you wear different badges, but your brother's under the skin. The militarists snap their fingers, and you do the dirty work. Like trying to help you and your daughter escape. Huh? Oh, don't pretend you care a whit for us personally. You might have it your own way. Let's get on with a brief, right? Yes, of course. I'll pick you up at the Weapons Development Center at precisely 3 o'clock. At 6 p.m., we'll rendezvous with a helicopter. Got that? You have a vehicle. A laundry truck. I'll be taking the driver's place. How does that look to you? How would I know? I'm not a secret policeman. Doctor, it would be nice if we could get along, at least for a couple of hours. After that, you can hate me all you want. You flatter yourself. I reserve all my hatreds for the idiots who are trying to destroy this planet. I haven't anything left over for their lackeys, Mr. Casey. Make it Sam. And from now on, let's communicate with each other in one-syllable words only. The fewer, the better. Whatever you say. I say three o'clock, sharp. We'll be ready. You call that working? An old woman could load faster. And you sweat. All you workers sweat. It's disgusting. What, you don't sweat? Of course not. I'm a driver. The daughter of the farmer, she makes a wife so good. She needs no shoes, she cooks good food, and chops up all the wood. The daughter of the farmer, she makes a wife so good. That's a little better, Nina. But your grouping needs tightening. Watch. Hunting arrows. Can you believe it? <laughs> Lily. Are you going hunting? Yes, later on for rabbits. Why don't you come along? I'm not sure I could kill an animal. <laughs> oh, no. That's another face of the sport, my dear. 
I want you to be the complete archer. Those steel-tipped arrows, they seem so cruel. Do you think I'm cruel? Oh, no, Victor. I think you're the most wonderful person I've ever known. If it weren't for you, I'd never have won the silver medal. Next time, we'll be the gold one. We could display it alongside the gold you won at Munich. That'll be nice. Sunday's a day of rest, comrade. Enjoy it. Practice your study. Be my Diana of the hunt and come along this afternoon. No, thank you. I'm a little tired. You're not ill, are you? I think you have a slight fever. Just excitement. For what? I wasn't supposed to mention anything, but Mother and I are planning a little surprise for you. Oh, what kind of a surprise? We're going to spoil everything. Please don't make me tell you. All right, I shan't. Now, you see the tightness of this grouping? Oh, Victor. When will I ever be as good as you? When you win the gold medal, my dear. Come on. Nevsky speaking. Put me through to Central Personnel Records. Where's your daughter? Oh, she should be here any minute. She's taking an archery lesson. You're kidding me. I don't believe this. What do you mean she's taking an archery lesson? Well, I didn't want to cancel it in case it looks suspicious. Oh. I, I, I'm sorry. Did you find anything? No, sir. Check the other side of the building right away. Yes, sir. What's gone wrong? They'll search the lab. You have to get out of here. It's too late for that. There'll be a place in here I can hide. No, there's nowhere you can hide. What about those lodgers? No, they'll find you there. No, they won't. Stay cool. Don't panic. Just act normal. Dr. Dodson. I'm sorry. We have orders to search the lab. Well, if you tell me what you're looking for, I can tell you if it's here. We're looking for that laundry driver. Nothing. I tell you, there's no one here. What's in those lockers? Lab coats. Dodson would have reported it. Search the outbuildings. Yes, sir. Sir. My apologies, Doctor. Our regular laundry driver has been found tied up in the woods. An intruder is here somewhere, posing as the relief driver. I see. Don't worry. We'll find him. Take on. 
Yes, but they searched that locker. Yeah, well, uh, well, I crouched down behind the clothes. Very easy. I am no good at this sort of thing. No, you're wrong. You, uh, you handled it very well, Dr. Dotson. Please, call me Valerie. I'll make it Val. That's a one-syllable word, isn't it? Nina, you promised me that you would be back by three. Hey, no problem. We still have plenty of time. This is the man who's going to drive us into the city. A laundryman? He's going to drive us? Are you authorized to leave the area? Yes, of course he is. Why are they searching your truck? That's just routine security, Nina. Now, listen, there's a bag packed in the office. Please, will you go and get it? Oh, Mother, do we have to go today? Victor wants to take me hunting. But I've arranged to pick up his present today. You, you didn't mention it to him, did you? I hinted, but I didn't tell him when. Oh, I hate to keep things from Victor, Mother. Well, it'll make the surprise all the better, dear. Now, please, hurry up and get the bag. All right. What is all this? You haven't told her that you're defecting? No. Why not? Because I don't trust her. You don't trust your own daughter? No, I mean I don't trust her not to betray herself to this man, Victor. All right, who's this Victor? Her archery coach, among other things. What other things? Come on, come on, spit it out. I have to know what we're up against. He's also the local head of the secret police and my personal jailer. Does Nina know about this? No. There's no way I could ever have made her believe it. Well, you don't think she's going to figure it out pretty fast when we don't head into the city? I mean, what happens then? I'm her mother. She loves me, and she's going to want to go where I go. Use the laundry truck. I'll take the bike. How? Oh. I'll work that one out. When you see me waving, come a running. All right? It's keeping your daughter. I'll find out. Nina, you're wrong. He isn't a spy. But I heard Captain Nevsky say so. I wish Victor was here. He would know what's going on. But don't you think I do? Well, yes, Mother. Then trust me. Now, come along. We have to hurry. <laughs>
Mr. Driscoll, I presume. Right. James Carlyle in Her Majesty's service. Ah, well, we want to thank you for your cooperation. Well, we do have a bit more than a rooting interest in this affair, now, don't we? Now, sir, I understand that we'll put down at precisely 6 and take off no later than 6.20. Yeah, correct, correct. A rather long layover, don't you think? It's, uh, it's worth the risk. Not if the cat gets out of the bag, sir. They'll put spotter planes up. Well, my man is pretty good at keeping cats in bags. Let's hope so. Shall we get at it? Everybody within five miles could hear us. You, kick that muffler off deliberately. Why? Spy! Nina, Nina, Nina. He isn't a spy. Then who is he? He's a man who's trying to help us. Help us? How? I'll explain later. No, wait a minute. You'll explain it right now. I've headed up to here with you two. Those little things buzzing around our ears back there were bullets, ladies. Now, you two get your act together before you get us all killed. But, Sam... But I... nothing! You tell her! Tell me what, Mother? We're going home, Nina. This is our home. No, it isn't. It's our prison. How can you say that? The state's so good to you. They, they give you that beautiful laboratory. Oh, yes, yes. And in all the years I've been here, I've never been permitted to travel 10 miles from it. They let me travel. I've been all the way to Montreal. Mother, I'm not a prisoner. Yes, you're just a prisoner in a different way. And we have the same jailer, Nina. Victor. Mother, you don't know what you're saying. Dina, if your mother's not going to tell you, I will. Your friend Victor is the head of the secret police. You're nothing but a spy. Nina! Why should I believe anything Nina. you say? Nina. Mother. Nina. Please. Please, can we go back? Everything will be all right. No, dear. It won't be all right. They'll kill me. No. No, they won't. Nina. Nina, Nina, listen to me for one minute, because that's all the time I've got to spare. When I get through, you can do whatever you want to do. Now, first of all, I want to explain why your mother has to leave. She's developed an antidote. For what? It's, it's for a gas, a very powerful gas. That's not important. The important thing is she's got to get it to the West or millions of people could die. All right? Now, that's why she's got to leave. Is that true, Mother? Yes. Well, why can't you just send this formula or whatever it is? I can't. But mother... All right, enough talk. We've got to get out of here. Now, look, you can stay with us or you can go. Make up your own mind. I'll stay. But no more trouble, Nina. Now you must promise. I promise? She's never broken her word. All right, let's get moving. I don't understand, Captain. I'm away hunting for one hour, just one hour, and I return to this. Colonel, I can only say... Please, that... Captain, don't waste my time with excuses. Have you the slightest idea where they are? Yes, sir. Somewhere in the area of Devlo Woods, and on foot. We found their abandoned cycle. You've sealed off the area? Yes, Colonel. What other steps have you taken? Other steps? Um, uh... Captain! Do you think this spy will just flap his arms? Uh carry them a hundred kilometers to the border? Obviously, they have planned a rendezvous with an aircraft. Now, you call headquarters. Tell them to exert maximum radar surveillance. Tell them I want spotted planes up. Is that clear? Yes, Colonel. Now, get at it. That will take care of the rescue plane. Our escapees will have no place to go. After that, it will be my pleasure, Captain. 
to personally hunt them down. Give me a minute to catch my breath. Hi. Are we on schedule? Barely. The underbrush is so heavy, it's such hard going. Well, in about a quarter of a mile, we'll hit the Devlo Road. Things should get a little easier from there on. Devlo Road? Why didn't you tell me? What's wrong? It's flooded out. We'll never get through. Is that true? Well, there's been a lot of rain lately. There's floods everywhere. OK. Our destination is the northern end of the woods now. Is there any other way to get there? The only way I know is through the swamps. No, no, no. We wouldn't make it on time. The Velzic Road goes through the swamp. It's never flooded, and it comes out about a mile from the clearing. Wait a minute, Nina. I was briefed on that. There's a checkpoint there. Not anymore. They closed it. Nina, are you sure? Our lives could depend on it. Of course I'm sure, Mother. All right, sounds like our best bet. I'm fine. Let's get moving. Hey, you picked a good approach, Carlisle. Nothing but wilderness down there. Yes, sir. With any luck, we can come in across the swamps. With a bit of luck, we should be in and out like a thief. That is, if your man makes it. He'll make it. Eighteen hundred hours, right on the dot. Yes, sir. Let's hope your chap is as prompt. Yet? Not yet. So they closed the checkpoint, did they? I'm sorry. I guess I misunderstood. They must have meant some other checkpoint. Can't we go around it? No, we can't go around it. The fields are mined. All right, you two wait here until you hear me yell. But when I call for you, you come fast. You got it? All right. Uh, maybe you better get out behind the woods there, just in case another patrol passes. Come on, go on, go on. What's the matter? Where is she? She ran away. She ran away. All right, that's it. We go without her. No, I can't do that. Valerie, Valerie. If we don't go, we mess the chopper. Now, she's made her decision. Let her go. No. Valerie, Valerie, listen to me. Listen. If you go back there, they're going to shoot you. So what are you accomplishing? I have to be with her. I have to tell them she had nothing to do with they this. They don't care about her, Valerie. It's you they want. So why throw your life away? What about her life? Sam, I am her mother. Oh. I'm sorry. Where would she go? Victor's, probably. OK, where's that? A little cottage near the archery range. Right. I will go back and get her, but alone, Valerie. Do you understand? I want you to meet me back at the Devlo Road, where we took that rest break. Can you get back there on your own? Sam, why are you doing this? Well, do you want a simple answer? Well, the thought of a lovely lady like you full of holes is very depressing. Besides, I've kind of grown fond of you. And I said you and Victor were brothers under the skin. Well, aren't we? 
Not even cousins. Get her up the steps. Go on. Come. Oh, Captain, they said we'd find you here. We caught this one running through the woods. I was just trying to get to you, Victor. And where is your mother? Let her go. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Captain? I'm sure this girl is completely innocent. Yes, uh, well, let her tell that to the general at district headquarters. Could you give me a moment alone with her? All right, but make it fast. Come and sit down. Come. It's OK. OK. Everything will be all right now. He tried to make me defect. Who did? The spy. Where is he now? I don't know. Is your mother with him? I ran away from her, but I think she'll come back. Darling, you're not answering my question. Where is she? What difference does it make? I'm here. You can teach me to win the gold. I'll even go hunting with you. Nina, where is your mother? I can't tell you that. Why not? Because if you knew, Captain Nevsky might torture you and make you tell. It is I who must know, Nina. But why? Because I'm responsible for her. Responsible to who? The authorities. What's the matter with you? Why are you staring at me like that? It's not true. What isn't? The spy said you were a policeman, but it's not true. Please say it isn't. Please, Victor. It is true. We must all be policemen to protect the state. You too, Nina. No. If you don't cooperate, they will never let you leave the country again. And that will be the end of your gold medal. I don't care. I'll never tell my mother. You ah! little fool. I have no more time for this. None of us do, pal. <laughs> All right, Nina, we can still make it. Will you come? Yes. Okay. Which car is his? Nina, Nina, come on, come on, come on. Pull yourself together. I'm going to save your mother. I'm going to need your help. The Mercedes. All right, I want you to take these keys, go out and get in the Mercedes and start the engine. But, but what about Captain Nesky and the guards? Don't worry about them. Just ignore them. They're not going to bother you. Trust me. You said I could leave. Colonel! Colonel! Colonel, what happened? What happened, Colonel? Colonel! Just won the gold medal, Captain. Wake up. Wake up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wake up. 
Where did you find the girl? Near the Velzig checkpoint. Now listen carefully. I'm going to take a shortcut. You call headquarters. Organize the pursuit on the regular road. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Give me the keys of your Jeep. Get going. There's a radio on my car. Call headquarters and, and tell them we'll meet the armored car on Devlo Road. Hurry, hurry. Yes, sir. Are you all right, sir? Yes, I'm fine. Go. Six twenty. So I'm afraid your man's going to stand us up. No, you'll make it. Spotter plane? Not likely. No. Ten more minutes. We'll uh, muddle through somehow. Muddle what, sir? Muddle through. It's uh. It's an old World War II expression. Oh, a bit before my time. I know, baby, I know. Everyone, j just everybody deceived you, even me. <laughs> but only because you're afraid I'd tell Victor? Yes. <laughs> so you didn't really deceive me? He didn't either. Who? <laughs> the spy. <laughs> well, he's an honest spy. If I ever get you two to New York, you know, there's a bridge in Brooklyn I'd love to sell you. But right now, where's the border? Sam, we're near the rendezvous point, aren't we? I'd say within a half mile. So if a helicopter took off, I would have heard it, wouldn't I? That's right. You didn't hear it? God bless you, Leonard! You waited! All right, I'm gonna run ahead and you guys follow as fast as you can. Come on. I should have wrapped you better when I had the chance, pal. Where are Mrs. Dotson and her daughter? Well, they changed their mind and they went back to the center. Nina. Nina. I don't believe they went back to the center. Whatever you say, pal. Hey, you know, you're right. I don't think they went back to the center. Where are they now? Uh, well, uh, wait a minute. Don't rush me. I want to make sure I get it right this time. Mrs. Dotson! If you're out there, show yourself or I'll kill him. Mrs. Dotson! I'm going to count to three. Wasting your time, pal. One? Two. No. Why didn't you just go? I asked you that once. Same reason, I suppose. Mrs. Dotson, where is your daughter? I'll never tell you that. Must I count to three again? need that. Oh, he likes to hunt. I want to hunt him. I know, but he's not important now. You've got the rest of your life ahead of you. Come on.
intercepted a coded message, sir. They're out like hornets and searching the whole area. Well, that could mean Sam's still in action. It could also mean we're about to be gobbled up. We've already overstayed our leave 40 minutes. All right, crack her up. Sorry about your friend, sir. All right. Leonard! Sam! It's 7 o'clock. You missed your deadline. It's a fine example that's set for the troops. Ridiculous. My watch was a half hour slow. You don't know how glad I am you waited. Hey, I'm Leonard Driscoll. Sir, we got to run. Give me a think of work on the bacon. Age of poor beauty, Leonard. Yeah. If you try to take off, we'll open fire. Sit, Pat. We're all right. We are? Don't shoot. We surrender. Get out of the helicopter, all of you. OK, let's get out. Away from it! <laughs> Dr. Lawrence, what are they going to do to my mother? Nina, everything's going to be fine, I'm sure. I have a right to know. Please, Sam, you won't lie to me. No, Nina, I won't lie to you. When your mother defected from England, she broke the law. Oh, Sam. Hey, come on, kiddo. Keep the old chin up, huh? How's it going? Affably. We just received word that a petition to the Crown for a pardon will be favorably received. That's wonderful. Mother, is everything going to be OK? Yes, it is. We're going to go to America. I'm going to work with Mr. Driscoll and Dr. Lawrence. Well, what about Sam? Isn't he going? Oh, you bet I am. Oh, that's good. After all, you are my favorite spy. 